Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another slick tutorial. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. Today we are going to talk about copy and tinker. Check this out. Design I made for Sonic the Hedgehog. If you look at the properties, I have made a note to them, told them what I thought. I tagged it so that way they might be able to find it. I made it public and then I chose attribution, no derivatives. I almost always choose that because I want you to come up and follow tutorials and gain skills instead of just copying my designs. If you choose share like, users can copy, remix, and tweak your designs as long as they credit you and keep that same license. So if somebody copies your work, they should say they got it from you and they also need to leave it as copy and tinker as well. We'll talk about that a little more in a moment. Right now I wanna hit save changes and let me show you the smartest way to share a project with other people. First, if you've got your original and you don't want it messed with, click on the gear and choose duplicate. That way it'll be a copy that they get. Now, once you're in that copy, you can see the word up there. You can also share this with a single user. You can even work together in the project by simply clicking up on the collaboration tab, generate a link and then copy that link and share it with the user over I am or whatever message you use. I even see some people share it in the design properties. Now I'm gonna move back to the Tinkercad workspace. And I also want you to know that even though this one is private and this is public, you can click over here on the gear, you can go to the properties and you can make it a share link project. It is not publicly listed, but if you share that link with people, like putting it in the document, they get their very own copy of it. Now I just opened another browser window. I pasted that link in and now I have a copy and tinker button. But before I ever hit copy and tinker, I always give a reaction. We call this the golden rule of Tinkercad. Notice if we look up in here, since this is copy of a copy, we are not messing with the original design, which is pretty darn cool. That way each person gets their own version and can make it as cool as they want. So just a quick refresher, you've got public designs and you can do a share link from it. You can also from the properties, choose the shared link option. Now I've highlighted before how I love the gallery. The staff picks are always awesome. Make sure when you get in here, you click on them and you give them a reaction. Of course, if you track down any of my designs, you will likely find a tutorial. Those reactions are always appreciated and down below, you can always find other things that I'm highlighting. Interesting note, this has been remixed almost 5,500 times and I've got 500 reactions. That means less than 10% of users are actually following the golden rule of Tinkercad and given a reaction before they copy and tinker. It would be awesome to see that improve. Now I love every day to shut off the staff picks and click on this button here so I can see a lot more designs at once. I love to check out the designs and give reactions. That is a fantastic table, giving it a wow. Over here, we've got a cool fan duct. I've actually got a tutorial about something like that. I'm gonna give it an awesome. Lastly, check out the geometry cat. That's wicked, giving it a wow as well. Now here is another fun design. It is a cool scorpion. Absolutely love all the details in here. Of course, before I would ever hit copy and tinker, I would give it a reaction, the golden rule of Tinkercad. Don't forget you can also hit view in 3D to check it out. Now, while I was checking this out, I also was able to see all of Magic Man's creation. There are a lot of cool projects. I also noted this one right here, where it mentions how this user is having trouble copying people's designs. Check this out, here it is mentioned, and if we click on this user's name, there is the copy design. Now, if you check this out, of course, I have not given a reaction. I will show you this. If you ever do accidentally give somebody a reaction, it is that easy to click and get rid of it. Just click on the same one. Now, notice this remix. If you're going to remix it, you should improve it. If we hit view in 3D, absolutely no improvements, which is pretty silly. I'm going to click back here and cancel out of that. I also noticed on this one, 
This took me very long to make. Let's take a look at the adjustments. If we click on it right here with view in 3D, zoom out, exact same project, no changes, and just kind of lame. So just make sure, friends, if you're ever going to give a reaction, make sure they've earned it. Hopefully this user starts creating their own designs sometime soon and gets reactions for their efforts. Friends, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, ahlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of amazing categories. And then down below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and some Tinkercad essentials. Of course, I also want to remind you about the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, please also note there is a link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a ton of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.